Is this the end of Mid Journey in Stable Fusion and the rise of Dolly? Well, probably not. Well, at least not the death of Mid Journey in Stable Fusion, but definitely the rise of Dolly. Dolly has definitely been the sleeper among the other AI giants and uh, actually haven't been in the competition at all. Now with Dolly 3, this is no longer the case. And we're going to look at what Dolly 3 is actually performing, but I got to tell you, it's pretty, pretty good. Let's dive straight into it. Oh, and I got a dad joke for you, but uh, it's not free. You have to pay attention. AI. So here we have it, Dolly 3, the official announcement. Dolly 3 understands significantly more nuance and detail than our previous systems. Well, that's kind of good because Dolly 2 was not great. And it says allowing you to easily translate your ideas into exceptional accurate images. And from this, I wouldn't be very impressed because a lot of these images, look at this for example, or, or, or this, it's like, well, it's, it's a, like mid journey or stable fusion, whatever. However, an image like this, where it says an illustration of an avocado sitting in a therapist's chair saying, I just feel so empty inside with a pit sized hole in its center. The therapist, a spoon, scribbles notes. Now bear with me here. I don't know if this is, you know, how honest this is, if this is like a real result without any fixing at all. But if this is a real result, then this is pretty fantastic. You have perfect text here that none of the other generators can do at this scale, just from a simple prompt. And the amount of detail that the prompt gives and Dolly 3 can replicate is fantastic. Now I'm a little skeptical. I gotta tell you that I'm a little skeptical. This is fully Dolly 3, but it's not out of the question. They are using it together with ChatGPT, so you can clearly understand the prompt better and then some of the other tools. And they actually say here, modern text to image systems have a tendency to ignore words or descriptions, forcing users to learn prompt engineering. Dolly 3 represents a leap forward in our ability to generate images that exactly adhere to the text you provide. So this is like the real selling point and they're really touting this as, as something that Dolly 3 can do. So why would they lie if they can't do this? Well, maybe it can. And in this example image, they have the sidewalks bustling with pedestrians enjoying the nightlife. They have at the corner stall, a young woman with a fire red hair dressed in a signature velvet cloak is haggling with a grumpy old vendor. And they keep going, the grumpy vendor, a tall sophisticated man is wearing a sharp suit, sports a noteworthy mustache, and I have to say, is very noteworthy, is worthy of an award, and is animatedly conver conversing on his steampunk telephone. I mean, that description alone, just on this character, man here, is probably something both Mid Journey and Stable Fusion is gonna catch every detail of. And that's just one part of the image. It catches everything. The, the woman, the, the man here, the city street, and a bustling city street under the shine of a full moon. That's pretty basic, I mean, all of them probably could manage that. How many of the results will turn out like this? Is this one out of a hundred? Is this 100% all of them? I guess we'll just have to see. But it shows real promise. And it says, as we scroll further, even with the same prompt, Dolly 3 delivers significant improvements over Dolly 2. And in the example here, an expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking, depicted as an explosion of a nebula. Uh, we kind of get that in the left one, but it's, you know, it's not pretty. I think we can agree on that. Unless you have like, you really enjoy this specific art style. The right one, you can actually see what's going on. And it's, it's much more detailed in that sense. I mean, then again, the left one is probably looking a little bit more in oil painting, expressionism, not expressive. Anyway, Dolly 3 is built natively on ChatGPT, which lets you use ChatGPT as a brainstorming partner and a refiner of your prompts. Just ask ChatGPT what you want to see in anything from a simple sentence to a detailed paragraph. Apart from that they are actually creating better images, Dolly wasn't great at before, if they are now providing images in the quality of Mid Journey and Stable Fusion, and then also have all of this amazing control of the image with simple prompting, that's gonna blow away a lot of the competition. 
I mean, stable fusion and control that has, well, so much control. And if you can get the same amount of control now with written text or, you know, like spoken word, that will be pretty amazing. And they keep on talking about this when prompted with an idea and the chat GPT will automatically generate tailored detailed prompts for Dolly 3 to bring your idea to life. And, and, and this part here, if you like a particular image, but it's not quite right, you can ask chat GPT to make tweaks with just a few words. So I would assume, let's say you have this, this, this character here, you could say change the number from 21 to 23 or whatever, or change the angle of the legs to the Jordan logo or something to Jordan air logo and if you can get to that point well it's literally an assistant you can tell it what to do see if you can watch this little video here my five-year-old keeps talking about a super duper sunflower hedgehog what does it look like and it gives some examples here my daughter says his name is larry can i say more like this can you show me larry's house and it's actually putting larry in there so, so that is both well both cute both very cute and uh, very amazing. And it kind of sticks. Um, well, I wouldn't be able to differentiate hedgehogs, but it looks like it's the same hedgehog. The Larry here. It says, I love this. Can I see Larry at the end? Here's an illustration of Larry dreaming peacefully. I gotta say, I'm pretty amazed. And, um, you know, with the release of ChatGPT, they kind of blew us away. So I, I don't think they're blowing smoke here. I think they're actually able to produce something of, uh, at this scale. Now, maybe not 100%, but I mean, if they can even reach like 50, 60, 70% of what they're promising here, we're at a great, great place. And this is really what I've been expecting with AI moving forward. When we started looking at stable diffusion last year, I mean, it was early, it was early days and the images weren't great. And, you know, at this time, the, the stable diffusion images are, are fantastic. So even if this is at an early stage, give it a few months or weeks or days and well, it will be impeccable. So here's some other examples. And I particularly like that we can actually get text in here. So here's an image that says explore Venus. Uh, the text down here, it isn't capturing, but the, the headline it is. And let's see what they said about the text. Um, the bottom text reads, explore Venus, beauty behind the mist. And you can sort of see that it's trying to say here, the mist with two S's and behind, kinda down here. Do we have any other text examples? No, not on this one. Well, this one has some. Find the universe within you. So an illustration of a human heart made of translucent glass standing on a pedestal amidst a stormy sea. And it goes on and then a quote, find the universe within you is etched in bold letters across the horizon. Yeah, so it didn't follow fully. And I think that's fair that they're actually also including some examples where it's not fully understanding what's going on. So it's not, I mean, across the horizon, but I get what they're getting. Uh, here's an example of something a little more photorealistic. So here's a sort of a, a banana couch in a living room. And again, I like how the detailed prompt here, a patterned rug and a potted plant sits in the corner, reaching towards the sunlight. So a lot of detail, a lot of cool stuff. And I think in general, stuff like here, you can see the details of this little door or window, whatever on this here isn't fantastic. But I think that is to be expected at this point, little details like that. I mean, the pillows and the, the cloth here just looks fantastic. Now they've always obviously chosen mostly good images to showcase here. So it would be nice to try this ourselves. Now, sadly, we cannot yet buy but I expect to be able to very soon. Uh, do we have any photorealistic humans? No. Well, this one, maybe a little bit. You can see here is not big enough to see any details. I mean, except for the hands, actually. It's co cool to see that the hands are, are good. I would love to be able to see how realistic like the skin or, or the person is. Now, 
the pottery or the porcelain here is, is a very cool effect and it looks very realistic but i would love to be able to see just a regular old photo of a person i mean here's a person as a captain uh, but it's more of a painterly style. And as you can see here, Dolly 3 is now research preview and will be available to chat GPT plus and enterprise customers in October, which is, well, very soon via the API and in labs later this fall. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, have a good one. See ya.